Uh, Alana, it doesn't matter religious affiliation. I mean, this weekend is just a huge deal for Utah as far as the parade and the history. And uh, it's back this year. I'm so glad it's back. I'm actually going to be at the Days of 47 Parade. We're getting really excited about Pioneer Day as we make it through the week. Even Mother Nature is getting excited, bringing in her own fireworks. This is what it looked like tonight out there over the Great Salt Lake. Really pretty. You can see the clouds that came streaming in. Just evidence of that moisture that's moving into the Beehive State. Monsoonal moisture with storms developing. We are looking at the chance of some nocturnal thunderstorms. I'll show you exactly where. High heat. It was there today. It will be there tomorrow. I've got an air quality update for you and we're going to talk about those stormy skies and just how long they're going to impact us. Cedar City time lapse showing us as we look west to the airport. You can see the storms that popped up this afternoon. You can kind of watch. We had one in Iron County that was just on the line of Iron and Beaver County. Some lightning there in that video and that actually prompted a severe thunderstorm warning that was this evening. As we watch, we can see the cloud cover that has moved in the blue indicating the clouds, the green bringing in those showers and it's still out there at this hour as we take a look at the storm tracker radar gives you an idea that we are seeing echoes of moisture just west of the I-70 corridor. Lightning right there on the state line staying active over Lake Powell and then even in the West Desert as we zoom in Lake Powell, those storms actually still putting down lightning at this hour and we do have the chance of seeing storms into the overnight and then again into tomorrow and it's not just Utah it's the entire region thunderstorms really want to gain control today we tied the record in Salt Lake hitting 104 we also did that in Provo City Creek and down there in Evanston we broke the record making it to 93 right now we're still sitting in the 90s so it is a mild overnight with cloud cover in place as of right now 80s and other locations along the Wasatch Front including Castle Country 90 in Moab 84 in St. George where Salt Lake heated up more so so down there, then Utah's Dixie. As we look at that future cast smoke, it does bring us some good news. If you're not a fan of monsoon moisture, definitely did help us out in the way of smoke. Last week we had that thick smoke. Now we've kind of cleared that out. And as we head into tomorrow, we keep most of that to the north of us. Some wants to come creeping in, but our southerly winds help us out in that arena. Let's check on what happens into tonight. Now we're not completely finished. Notice how Lake Powell stays active. The weather model actually shows those storms as we get into the early morning hours. This is 8 a.m near Richfield, Beaver, and Cedar City. Some stronger storms, and those hold together. We can actually see them move up to northern Utah, move into Cache Valley by the afternoon and evening. We are looking at isolated storms in the north tomorrow and scattered storms in central and southern Utah. Here's a look at what to expect as we head into our Tuesday. We still hold on to that chance of moisture. 90s along the Wasatch Front for tomorrow with storms on deck. 101 in Moab, 99 in St. George. Plenty of cloud cover, and we're going to see that thunderstorm activity. Here's a look at the next seven days down there in Washington County. Pioneer Day on the map there. 95 in St. George with scattered storms possible. That monsoon push doesn't mess around. There's the Wasatch Front. We will see the heat by Wednesday. That looks like our driest day, the holiday, bringing in a high of 95 and the chance of isolated storms even in northern Utah. Monsoon moisture means business, fellas, and we know that around here. You know who means business? Hmm. Alana and Wes doing the sports and the weather <laughs> on a Sunday night. What am I talking about? Are you talking about sports, Wes? Weather was decent. So it's